All right, so here's an integral that's a little bit trickier and maybe not obviously a candidate for trigonometric substitution at first. After all, it's, it's a rational function. But we've seen something like this before, right? When we were doing substitution and we were looking to do um, um, inverse trig examples, we said, oh, sometimes you can like complete the square, right? So we can say, hey, uh, x squared plus 6x plus 10. Uh, let's see, so that is x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 1. And of course, I'm doing that because x squared plus 6x plus 9, right? Half of 6 squared is how I got to there. That gives me x plus 3 all squared plus 1. Okay, so now we have something which looks an awful lot like the arc 10 pattern. So this suggests that we should let... Um, x plus 3 equal to tan theta, right, for some theta. So in other words, x is tan theta minus 3, or theta is arc tan of x plus 3, however you want to spin that. Uh, taking d of both sides, dx is secant squared theta d theta, right, and of course, um, x squared plus 6x plus 10 becomes, so it's x plus 3 squared plus 1. So it's 10 squared theta plus 1, which is secant squared theta. So this whole thing becomes into all. Now, that quadratic is secant squared, right? And it's squared there. So we have to do it's secant squared squared. So we get secant to the fourth power. dx is secant squared theta d theta. Okay, so that's 1 over secant squared. That's just cos squared. Okay, half angle, 1 half, 1 plus cos 2 theta, so we get 1 half theta plus 1 quarter sine 2 theta plus c. So 1 half theta plus 1 half sine theta cos theta, and now we can get it back in terms of x. So theta is arc tan of x plus 3. Now, sine theta, so here's, here's one where, you know, you can fiddle around with the identities, but you'd probably rather draw the little triangle, right? So we draw the little triangle. Think of tan as, so that's x plus 3 opposite over adjacent. This side is x squared plus 6x plus 10, right? that being theta. So this becomes, so sine theta is going to be x plus 3 over x squared plus 6x plus 10. Okay. Um, square root of that, right? Make sure. Um, yeah, that squared plus that squared, right? Yeah, this squared plus that squared gives me that. So I do need, yeah, I need the square root. Okay. Gets complicated, you have to keep track sometimes. And then cos theta is going to be adjacent. Right. Oh, of course, the square root's going to go away when we multiply those out. Okay, so... Leave it like that, or if you want to clean it up just a little bit. We have x plus 3 over 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 10 plus our constant.